colores, de colores. Literally, I just want to come a rainbow right now. Colors! Good evening. In this tutorial, not a tutorial, it's a video actually. I mean, I guess it's sort of a tutorial, but not really. It's more of actually like a review type thing. You know what? It's 10 30 at night. A little bit of diabetes awareness right now. My blood sugar's low as I'm filming this intro, which means I'm feeling a little loopy, which means I'm feeling a little bit like I need some Fruit Loops down in my kitchen right now. Feeling a little loopy. Little Fruit Loopy. With my De Colores. And I literally just set up my new background like, like maybe 20 minutes ago, and I'm just like, I cannot stop looking at it. I am obsessed. In this video, I'm going to be going over all the Graftobian, not all the Graftobian airbrush makeup, but the collection that I do have because it is my favorite airbrush makeup ever. I was just at the Graftobian booth at a convention like two days ago. Actually, no, it was, it was yesterday. And I actually was getting a lot of questions about airbrush makeup. What's my favorite compressor? What's my favorite paint? So I wanted to swatch. While this is normally a video that I would put on my second channel, I do have a second channel. I'll put a link. Now, because this is body painting related, I wanted to put it on this channel. Just so you know, no, this video is not sponsored. All of this is opinions of my own as a working artist and a working body painter. Now, in all honesty, I have always completely, like, completely never liked airbrushing whatsoever in my entire life. I was never a fan. I was always a hand painter. I pretty much still am a hand painter, but when I go to shows or I'm going to conventions or I need to cover a large area at a time, or I just need an airbrush for whatever reason, I pretty much, not pretty much, I always, the reason I say pretty much is I didn't always have it, but since I got this walk around airbrush system, this is my whole life. This is the Graftobian walk around airbrush system. Actually, you don't even need this plugged in. I only have it plugged in because I have it plugged into the wall right now when I'm doing my demos of the makeup. No reason to waste the battery but you do not need it plugged in. This thing literally fits in your hand, but like I said, you can plug it into the wall if you want. If you're not gonna plug it into the wall, it comes with this battery pack, which so conveniently matches the compressor. And you literally just hook it into the side and then you take this part out, which is the part that was just plugged into the wall, and plug it in to there. And then this would be your whole airbrush system. Obviously, you have to have the tube to connect it to the airbrush. But this is the compressor that I use all the time. It's really, not that loud compared to like other compressors or other craziness that you'll have, especially if you're at like a convention or a show or something, you don't even hear this guy. And that was obviously plugged into the battery pack. And of course I choose to do this in a white shirt. Actually not even my shirt, it's my mom's shirt. We'll see how this goes. So we've got, actually before I do that, they also have, where is it? This is their airbrush cleansing fluid. This cleans out my airbrush so well. I was using this to switch in between colors when I was working on a model at, I don't know, some show that I was just at. And this seriously, like, is just amazing. I love their airbrush cleaner. Just remember that because I'm using it to switch colors. So going in order of what I have over there, I'm going to be starting off with red, and this is called red. So here is red. And then also to clean my airbrush, if I have any airbrush color left in there, which I'm not gonna have much in there because I'm not putting a ton in there, I would dump it out into the trash, then take the cleaning fluid and back bubble. If you clog the end of it and then just pull your trigger back just a little bit, this is gonna make bubbles in there. It's gonna back bubble and clean out your airbrush, at least for in between colors. And then you just dump it out. Back bubbling is also something that can be done to mix colors together. So if you wanna mix a little bit of red and a little bit of blue to make purple, you guys can just clog the end, push it down, and only pull back a little. Don't be like, whoa, because then it's going to be like, Brr. trust me. Literally all you need is just a little, or else you're going to be like this. And then your client's going to wonder if you know what you're doing, and you're going to wonder if you know what you're doing. Now this next one, the clotted red. Of course, I get clotted red. I have not yet tried yet, but when you get... Oh, new ones because I just got this one. You're going to be like, hmm, why isn't my makeup coming out of the bottle? That's because there is a stopper in the cap. You are welcome. This comes out. And this one is the clotted red. Next up, we have their neon pink, which is neon. And I honestly have way too many colors to go through to comment on every single one because I have a lot in this video on it being like 30 minutes long, so I'm just gonna go through all the colors so you guys can see. Maybe occasionally pop in with a story or two. Lex, what are you doing? Cleaning my airbrush. <laughs> Thank you. 
So here are all of the colors. At least all the colors that I have, but I mean, pretty much I have like the entire rainbow going on. And for whatever colors you do not have, you could always mix them together. I just like to have my nice range of color. Oh, for Tobin's airbrush paint, I have no idea why my camera keeps refocusing. It's driving me nuts. That's it. I am done. Ah! We're okay. We're in the clear. Ah! All the effects air, airbrush makeup is a water and alcohol hybrid. It is very nice. Meaning that it has the same power of alcohol makeup, so it's not going anywhere. But you do not need alcohol to remove it. You can just hop in the shower, scrub it off. This will come off with soap and water. Overall, Gravdomi is pretty much the only airbrush makeup that I will use. I have gone through so many different brands. I like Graftobian. If you guys follow me on other social media, you guys have actually seen like the neon paints used on a galaxy painting that I did at one of the conventions. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to do like a Q&A video about getting into airbrushing, how to work your airbrush, general airbrush questions. Let me know what you guys have as far as questions of starting or etc. All the paint that I demoed in this video will be listed somewhere around the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me.